In a month or two from now, the markets are going to be flooded with mangoes. Right now, they are flooded with gooseberries. And so, I'm going to present yet another rice dish with gooseberry. Ingredients, I'm using mustard seeds, jeera, I've taken about eight mid-sized gooseberries, grated them like this, roasted broken chickpeas, some fresh coconut, about four to five green chilies, curry leaves, turmeric powder. I'm going to use a pinch or a little more of fenugreek powder, ground nuts, salt to taste. The stove is on, the oil is getting heated. So let's kick start the process. As usual, we start off with mustard seeds and wait for them to splutter. Add jeera. I'm going to add a little extra bit of jeera to it. Curry leaves, groundnuts, some haldi, mix it all for a minute or so, let the ground nuts start changing their color, the color of their skin. I took about eight gooseberries. They were grated. What a nice lovely yellow color coming out. To this I will add salt to taste. I'm going to let this cook on a low beam fire for a few minutes and the best way of doing it is to close it. I'm going to close it with a lid so that it gets steam cooked. In the meanwhile, into a mixy jar, I'm adding about five green chilies, the chickpeas, a bit of fenugreek powder, some hing, some curry leaves, some coconut, I've broken them into pieces, and one teaspoon of mustard. I'd add a little turmeric too, so that the paste also gets its turmeric tinge. I'm using the pulse and not the grind command. You will end up with a powder of this consistency. You see that the gooseberry in this dish is cooked.
Now I am going to add this mixture. From the look and feel of this mixture of uh, gooseberry and the ground masala, I think it will do good with a little more oil. I used about two tablespoons earlier and I'm going to use another about approximately two tablespoons again. Now what you can do is, this mixture can be stored and for the amount of rice you want to use, you can take that much out of the bank and use it. For example, I think this kind of mixture would be good enough for about um, half a kg of rice, but I'm not going to make half a kg of rice, so I'm going to put refrigerate this and just take that much that would be required for mixing it with hot rice. Tip over here is please use hot rice. And uh, another alternative to this is you can add a little ginger, you can add a little garlic. Reason I don't use ginger and garlic in this is gooseberry by itself has a very uh, simple understated taste. And if you use ginger or you use garlic, they are likely to add a taste distinct of theirs and override the taste and the flavor of, uh, of gooseberry. So I have not used them but it's a question of choice. You can use ginger, you could use mango ginger because it also coincides with the times now. You get a lot of mango ginger in the market. I come from a place like Hyderabad where it's not, it's seasonal unlike in a place like Chennai or certain parts of Bangalore and other parts where you get it 365 days. But here it's the season, so I'm use, uh, talking about mango ginger as an alternative, but I am not using either of them. Acknowledgements due to Ritika for navigating this process for me. Datu for canning it or shooting it out for me. And Abhinav for doing the final version to reach out to all of you. Hope you enjoy this. Come back with your comments. I put off this towel now and I'll catch up with you at the presentation of the rice. So the rice is ready. I've mixed it with plain rice. I don't have to show you that procedure. I've dressed it up with some slices of tomato and some potato chips to go with it or potato wafers to go with it. Thank you. Enjoy it. Try it out and do revert with your comments. Bye-bye.